I'm going to show you how to activate account assignment objects for assets in SAP s My name is Nuno Dias, and I have been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in finance. I work as an SAP FICO contractor. In case you want to reach me out for a project, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance, and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Here in this channel, we are doing a full lifecycle implementation series based in finance and control. So please don't forget, subscribe this channel to receive fresh new videos on a weekly basis. In this video, we are going to see how to define settings for additional account assignments objects, for instance, cost centers, segments, functional area, etc. When we do use this and we make the postings in the general ledger, we need to make sure that these objects that we are choosing here, they are visible for posting in the general ledger. If they are not visible, please go to the account group and make the configuration. You can find the, a video for the status fields account group in this channel if you don't know how to make this configuration. Now we are in the IMG uh, menu. So we going to uh, transaction code ORF, then account asset, asset accounting, integration with uh, general ledger accounting, and then additional account assignment objects. So here we need to tick, and then we have all the information that is configured already, already in the system. And then what we want to active, to have in our system. And then uh, here, if it's relevant for our um, balance sheet, we have to put it. Imagine that, uh, for example, where do we have the cost center segment, for example. If the segment is relevant for my balance sheet, I'm going to tick there. Here, there is, in, there is the agreement indicator. And I'm going to explain you this, what is this about, because it's important that you take the note. So when we choose this information, what does it mean? It means that whatever is in the master data, let's show quickly the master data because it's easier to understand AS03. And then we should have something there. Okay, so basically I'm going to show you the master data. So in this case, we have cost center, okay? This cost center. So when, when we tick by default, when I'm posting these assets, for example, if I'm doing the purchase, whatever is here, cost center, profit center, segment, if we have functional area, is going to be transferred for the, for the posting, okay? If we tick this, it means that I don't want the user to be changing this manually when we are posting, when, when it's doing the, for example, the purchasing or any other transaction in, uh, in the assets. Why? Because I want this to keep the same profit center, for example. I don't want this profit center to be changed manually during the acquisition. Okay, so then I need to tick that so the user will not be able to change the profit center. That's, we, that's why we use this here. If the profit center is also used for um, our um, balance sheet for consolidation, so we put profit center mark and then we just need to make and save. Yes, it's very simple and normally you are used to do it. If you are enjoying this video as me doing it for you, make a like. If you think this video is useful, just type in the comments. Um, this, this video has been useful for me. So when you do everything here, you define with your client. Uh, there is then the, the other step we need to put the, the postings done. So you need to review this list with your client. Now you know how to active 
account assignment objects for assets in SAP S4. Many thanks for watching this video as part of the full life cycle implementation series that we are doing here in this channel. You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please don't forget to subscribe this channel to receive fresh new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.